Chapter 1 I Will, I Won't, I Want What Willpower Is and Why It Matters When you think of something that requires willpower, what's the first thing that comes to mind? For most of us, the classic test of willpower is resisting temptation. Whether the temptress is a donut, a cigarette, a clearance sale, or a one-night stand. When people say, I have no willpower, what they really mean is, I have trouble saying no when my mouth, stomach, heart, or fill in your anatomical part, wants to say yes. Think of it as, I won't power. But saying no is just one part of what willpower is and what it requires. After all, just say no are the three favorite words of procrastinators and couch potatoes worldwide. At times, it's more important to say yes. All those things you put off for tomorrow or forever, willpower helps you put them on today's to-do list, even when anxiety, distractions, or a reality TV show marathon threaten to talk you out of it. Think of it as I will power, the ability to do what you need to do, even if a part of you doesn't want to. I will and I won't power are the two sides of self-control, but they alone don't constitute willpower. To say no when you need to say no, and yes when you need to say yes, you need a third power, the ability to remember what you really want. I know, you think that what you really want is the brownie, the third martini, or the day off. But when you're facing temptation or flirting with procrastination, you need to remember that what you really want is to fit into your skinny jeans, get the promotion, get out of credit card debt, stay in your marriage, or stay out of jail. Otherwise, what's going to stop you from following your immediate desires? To exert self-control, you need to find your motivation when it matters. This is I want power. Willpower is about harnessing the three powers of I will, I won't, and I want to help you achieve your goals and stay out of trouble. As we'll see, we human beings are the fortunate recipients of brains that support all of these capacities. In fact, the development of these three powers, I will, I won't, and I want, may define what it means to be human. Before we get down to the dirty business of analyzing why we fail to use these powers, let's begin by appreciating how lucky we are to have them. We'll take a quick peek into the brain to see where the magic happens and discover how we can train the brain to have more willpower. We'll also take our first look at why willpower can be hard to find and how to use another uniquely human trait, self-awareness, to avoid willpower failure. Why we have willpower. Imagine this. It is 100,000 years ago, and you are a top-of-the-line homo sapiens of the most recently evolved variety. Yes, Take a moment to get excited about your opposable thumbs, erect spine, and hyoid bone, which allows you to produce some kind of speech, though I'll be damned if I know what it sounds like. Congratulations, too, on your ability to use fire without setting yourself on fire, and your skill at carving up buffalo and hippos with your cutting-edge stone tools. Just a few generations ago, your responsibilities in life would have been so simple. One, find dinner. Two, reproduce. 3. Avoid unexpected encounters with a crocodilus anthropophagus. That's Latin for crocodile that snacks on humans. But you live in a closely knit tribe and depend on other Homo sapiens for your survival. That means you have to add, not piss anyone off in the process, to your list of priorities. Communities require cooperation and sharing resources. You can't just take what you want. Stealing someone else's buffalo burger or mate could get you exiled from the group or even killed. Remember, other Homo sapiens have sharp stone tools, too, and your skin is a lot thinner than a hippo's. Moreover, you might need your tribe to care for you if you get sick or injured. No more hunting and gathering for you. Even in the Stone Age, the rules for how to win friends and influence people were likely the same as today's. Cooperate when your neighbor needs shelter, Share your dinner, even if you're still hungry, and think twice before saying, that loincloth makes you look fat. 